marketers should realize that marketing uh, is not something that is very well understood in politics, uh, particularly in Brussels. So there's a big piece of education or explanation uh, to do with, with policymakers about the function of marketing and why it is the essential piece of the economy that it actually is. The EU institutions and everyone who works around them is not stuffed full of people who have worked in business full stop or indeed in marketing communications and had all of the experience that goes with that and to that degree there isn't the sort of understanding of it. There's an, an ignorance about the world of advertising I think um, which is a paradox of course because everybody sees a massive amount of advertising. It is quite visible and therefore a good target not just for regulators but for uh, campaigners, NGOs or others who have a particular issue that they want to, to tackle and it may be easier to tackle the point at the end of the process than further upstream and therefore it's a, a visible and effective way of trying to target their efforts. Take um, obesity or healthy lifestyles or alcohol. Um, you don't see uh, as a politician or as a, an average uh, consumer what other people eat, how they behave in the house, what the children eat uh, when they have a beer. Uh, what you see is the beer ad on TV or online. And so it's the obvious target um, for many regulatory initiatives because it's the most visible part of a company. The brand marketer, the, the advertising world needs to communicate what they do and why they do it much more effectively and needs to take into account the thoughts and ideas of the people that they're talking to in the public affairs world. And the thoughts of an, and ideas of those people are, are founded in public sector employment, in politics, in the law, in teaching, in academia, um, not in brand advertising. There's a big piece of realization there that is needed on the part of the marketing community uh, that trust is not a given. Trust, um, trust is built on deeds. And, uh, and you need to earn trust, it means two things. The first is the fundamental importance of responsible marketing. So don't do the things you're not supposed to do on the basis of what your stakeholders expect. And the second piece, uh, in order to earn trust, you need to do something positive. You need to contribute uh, to your interlocutor's agenda with something that is beyond simply increasing your quarterly sales or whatever your target is. Trying to achieve a particular objective that is clearly stretch uh, and may be proven to be a step too far in time, as long as it's not so unrealistic on the one hand or so obviously business as usual with just a tweak that it gets people's interest and think, yeah, they have actually thought about it, they are trying, then it will enable you to have those conversations and seriously about the topics with possibly more senior level uh, and a broader group of uh, opinion formers, uh, decision makers than you might have otherwise had. That broad, broad process of interaction will give you that differential uh, that should enable people to trust the information, the data, the scientific evidence, just the opinion that you have in a way that you wouldn't otherwise. And I think that's, the, that's an important differentiator. Part of the role of the advertising professional is to look at the ethics of what they're doing, to look at the wider social aspects of what they're doing, um, and not just being an instrument for their brand, but also bring into the brand, if you like, the concerns of society as well, which I know is not easy, um, and, I, and I'm not saying that this is straightforward. Um, and it's a perfect world in which I'm, I'm trying to paint a picture of. I'm fully aware of that. But a little bit more of an awareness about the social aspects of what the brand advertiser is doing, I think would be useful.